pre-season. Time for new signings, new kit, new formations, new tactics and often in Chelsea's case, a new manager. However, the same old debate remains. Are results of any significance? Some will say that pre-season matches are merely extended training sessions, only about gaining fitness. Others argue it's important to get that winning habit from the get-go. In recent times, a successful pre-season has tended to mean that the Blues have carried that form into the start of the regular campaign. Still going here, and still going, and he might go all the way, Diego Costa! What a run and what a goal! While pre-seasons where results haven't been so positive, they've often seen the Blues struggle to find top gear. Ibrahimovic into the roof of the net! Take the four Premier League wins as examples. Each of those came off the back of an effective pre-season. There were four wins from six matches in 04-05. What a goal from Alexei Smirtin! Four wins from five in 05-06. Robin scores, Demetrios beaten. Four wins from five again in 09-10. Oh, phenomenal from Didier Drogba. And seven wins from ten in 14-15. He's got it over the wall, brilliant! What a goal! Poor pre-season form tends to lend itself to a season of struggles too. However, the summer tour to the Far East seems to be the exception to the rule. A record of seven wins from seven proved false hope for the season which was to follow. AVB was gone in March and the Blues finished sixth. Nonetheless, there was of course the most famous night in club history that year too. Munich erasing all memory of league troubles. The following year, and European champions Chelsea had a disappointing pre-season, winning just once out of five games. An up-and-down season duly followed. A third-place finish fell below Chelsea's high standards, and an exit in the Champions League group stage was enough to end Di Matteo's time in charge. The season ended with Europa League glory, but there was enough to suggest that the poor pre-season was a sign of things to come. Last season was a year all Chelsea fans would like to forget, and the pre-season wasn't any better. The Blues failed to win any of the four games in 90 minutes last summer, and a 1-0 loss to Fiorentina at the bridge three days before the start of the season set the tone for what was to follow. The debate whether pre-season results are of real significance will go on, but in Chelsea's case, recent history would definitely suggest that form is a real indicator of what might be around the corner come May.